This is a video to show you how you can use dimensional analysis in a spreadsheet. Um, spreadsheets are calculators. Um, they can do all the calculations for you with formulas. You don't need to use your calculator and shouldn't use your calculator when you're using spreadsheets. Um, so you can see here I have two problems that were on your homework assignments. Um, I've set one up already. Um, this is the burger problem and it should look just like you did when you did it on paper um, where we want burgers on top because that's what we want in the end and then we're crossing out everything else until we only have burgers left. We're putting our units in the gray boxes and our numbers corresponding to them in the white boxes and this right here would be one cell of that railroad method. Okay, um, So Spreadsheets have formulas, and whenever we put a formula in, we're going to use the equal sign. So we're on a calculator, you hit equal after. On a spreadsheet, you use, you use equal first. Um, one of the formulas is called product. We know that product is the answer to multiplication. Um, we use our parentheses, and we can click on one box and drag all of them. And what's happening now is it's taking the, the product of all those numbers multiplied together, just like we did on our calculator. Then we need to divide by the bottom. When we divide by the bottom, we are really multiplying across the bottom. So we're going to use the division symbol. And again, we're going to use the word product. And take the product of all the bottom numbers by dragging. And when we hit enter, we should have our answer um, of how many burgers it takes to make a million dollars. Another way to do this would be, so this is another method, or um, equals. and using parentheses because we like that order of operations, 184 times, and that's the asterisk, times 8, times 5. So every time you're putting in that, you're clicking on that box, you're putting in a multiplication symbol just like you would on your calculator. And then we're closing that parentheses. Now we're going to divide by the bottom. So divide by 1, divide by 1, divide by 1, divide by 1, and hit enter and we have the same answer. For things that have cubic units, we again know in the end that we want kilometers, or excuse me, kilograms per meters to the third. And we use that carrot to show that we have to the third. We're just going to start with grams, and that's 13.6 for one centimeter cubed. So to get rid of grams, we go to the bottom. So grams, there's 1,000 grams in one kilogram. And we've crossed out our weight so we have what we want in the end. Now we have to deal with the centimeters. So we know we want to get rid of centimeters. And that has to go to meters. So we have 100 centimeters to one meter. But we also have to cube this, that right there is just in scientific notation. You can change back and forth from scientific notation under format, number, um, scientific versus just number, okay? Or, yeah, just number or plain uh, automatic, okay? So we have to cube those units to get rid of it, which means we also have to cube that number. So to do that, you're going to click this. And we can't just put that cubic sign there because the spreadsheet isn't going to calculate it. We also have to put a number in front of that. Now when we hit enter, it's going to cube it for us. The one, same thing, cubic, put the equal sign in front, and hit enter. And again, we can calculate the same way. Equals the product of your top values divided by the product of your bottom values, and hit enter. Or, so you do it the other way, the equal sign, all the boxes multiplied together, divided by all the boxes on the bottom. We should get this. If you have an error, you need to go back, and you can see here that my error is there because I have an extra multiplication symbol. So I can just take that out and hit enter again, and now I should have that same answer. So you are going to use your spreadsheet um, that you can find in Google Classroom to 
do the calculations for the lab that you took the measurements for today. If you have questions, please ask or refer back to this video. Thanks.